Good morning, interwebs. It's 10.15. I'm up. I'm dressed. I have had oatmeal. And now today is going to be a day of productivity. And yes, backlighting, arg. Anyways, things that are going to get done today. I think Steve and I are going to try and deal with that mess. And... Well, I don't think we're going to get to that mess based on the other messes we had to deal with. Oh. Should, I, should we not deal with the other messes? No, I think we should deal with the other messes. Okay, so in the kitchen, uh, Steve picked up the last of the meat for Horse Parade, so I will be cooking this lovely roast today, and there's 20 pounds of hamburger in the fridge as well, and working on some more beets and cleaning up the kitchen so that we can move some of that stuff in here, and Steve's doing laundry, as you can see. So hopefully by the end of the day... Some, if not all, of the stuff will be accomplished. But you never know what our day might bring. We might just get absolutely nothing done today. What do you think, Steve? I think we'll get at least something done. We'll get something done. Maybe it'll even be the things I'm planning. But we shall see. Order to six. What do you know? Steve was right. We didn't get anything done in the living room today. But we got like a ton of stuff done in the kitchen. I finished cooking all the hamburger and all the roast and all the stuff that I need for horse parade is now complete. And I took a huge bushel box of beets and finished um, cooking and peeling those. I just need to do the actual like processing of the canning. And then I made sloppy biscuits for lunch, which is basically our sloppy joe topping on top of biscuits, which my daughter made this morning when she made oatmeal for our breakfast. And we had a little bit of sloppy meat left, but not enough for us to have a whole meal. So I decided that we would have like some soup for dinner tonight, which I just started and it's not hot yet. Okay. So there it is. I took the rest of the sloppy meat and put it in there along with a few beets that were in the fridge that I had peeled the other day, about half a quart of my canned carrots and a quart of diced tomatoes that I had canned in the basement as well and a cup of rice. So I will also add some like spices and stuff. But that's what I think we are going to have for dinner. And I've just been hanging out with the kids. I was doing a bit of internet perusal for some gift purchases um, today and I just need to finalize some of those this evening and then while I was sitting here with the kids do you ever sit down with like or you'll see something that'll make you think of a particular yarn so like I sat down with this ball of baby yarn and a hook and I was just kind of playing and I was watching YouTube and talking to the kids and next thing I know I apparently am starting I don't know what this is gonna be but I'm having fun making it, and so while I'm sitting here watching YouTube, that's what my hands are fiddling with. No real reason, which is probably why it is fun. It's because there is zero reason I should be making it. In fact, there's probably a million reasons I shouldn't be wasting my time on it right now. But I'm just going to ignore those reasons and enjoy the good feeling. Because sometimes, that's what you gotta do. Oh, and by the way, I'm actually feeling very good today, overall, which is great. And I am very, very thankful for that, so... We'll see what the rest of the evening brings. It's 1.18 in the morning. Why am I still awake? I, I, I don't really have a good answer. Mostly because I've been perusing the internet looking for a new vlogging camera. <laughs> um, and other Christmas gifts. Some things for the kids. Some books and stuff. So that's that. Um, but I really need to like go to bed because... It's late, and I'm not really making any headway. I was telling Steve that, like, searching Amazon and just internet searching is just craziness because there's so many options, and I just can't, I don't know. It's one thing if I know exactly what I want, but I'm kind of in this process of, like, weighing what I want with what I'm willing to pay, and, you know, so I think I found what I want. I think I found what I want and what I'm willing to pay, and hopefully... When I do get a new camera for my birthday, this will look better in this lighting situation. <laughs> um, generally, it just should look better overall because clearly I'll be getting a camera that is like, I don't know, 
seven years newer. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Lots of choices. But anyways, I shall go to sleep and deal with those choices in the morning. And I will talk to you then. Nighty-night.